Hi, this is Anna. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I am sharing with you this uh, journal. I actually was showing it briefly in one of my previous videos, uh, but I just finished it and I can show you everything that's in it now. So for this journal, as you can see, I used another little golden book. And for this journal, I also used a piece of chipboard to uh, make this sturdy right here, this piece. So it's not bendable anymore. And I actually had to replace the rings three times because each time the rings were too small. So this one is the largest that I have. And this ring is two inches. So two inch ring so i also have tassel here and you can remove the tassel if you open the ring you can remove it uh what else so all the book pages original book pages are in um, order and maybe this side i'll show you the side too so as you can see it's a lot of stuff in here and we'll get to that in a second so the, the larger rings give you the space in between the pages. You can open the rings and remove the pages if you want to work on the pages, uh, if you want to switch them around, whatever you want to do. It's very easy to just open uh, the binder rings and replace the pages or work with the pages. So here I have a book page. I kind of liked it and I was thinking that maybe you want to gift it to somebody so then you can uh, write stuff here and then this is a tax pad so I have this book belongs to and then some vintage recipe card then we have calendar page so variety of pages this is a handmade uh, envelope. So I wanted to open it and show it to you. I'm not going to be opening everything, just this one, because I really like this one. I like this uh, image on this one here. And then I added some trim. So this is the ephemera that I was showing you. From my recent purchases so then you put it back and you can close the rings so book pages in order as you can see this one is from 1988 i believe this is very cool textured paper so you get variety of different papers in this journal this is lined paper i used really a lot of different uh, book pages from different books and stuff and cool ephemera and this says to do and then this says nope not today i thought that was cute so that's um that's a tax spot under this paper there with a couple tags and of course you can put something else in there and then this is vintage playing card a lined paper dreamland some fabric trims another vintage book page a lot of purple to match this here this is very cool handmade paper uh, thick and I really love the feel of it so it's a kind of cool cool page and of course you can journal on this side here's another beautiful botanical page beautiful flowers 
you can close this you can trim it uh, whatever you want to do another book page this one is made into a pocket as you can see it's stitched on both sides and here I have a little piece of paper that I inked around and um, stamped another book page this is a tuck spot made with playing vintage playing card and a book page maybe you can use it somehow in a journal and you can of course use this as a spot for a picture but this is from the scrapbooking uh, uh, book that i was also showing this is tim holtz paper that's another botanical page another calendar page so as you can see variety this red is kind of like this here this is a flip right here that's fabric pocket so I have notes here because this says notes and then dream because they're sleeping so you can journal on this and this is lace so then here again are more notes journaling card and then another of these uh, pretty journaling cards with a bird so lined inspiration goes here it says uh, this is Dollar Tree paper this is well, ephemera in the tuck spot here of course you can add different things in there and this is a card I was showing you the card sets from Tuesday morning, so that's um, that's one of these cards. And the colors go so well with this coffee dyed paper here. If you're not subscribed to my channel, uh, please subscribe because one video is kind of a continuation of the previous one, so you know what I'm talking about. So that's another, as you can see, a beautiful uh, page really really beautiful and so this is a pocket here so you can cut these out and uh, uh, use them in a journal double-sided now this beautiful paper here So that is a pocket here with guest check and kitchen check. And then this is fabric and uh, flower here. And this is from um, Reader's Digest book. So that's a tuck spot behind it. And then this is one of these little envelopes with some bits and pieces of paper for little notes. So that goes in here. Here's this yellow uh, green paper. green paper to match this green flower and there's a little bit of green and uh, pink here this is why these colors are like this here this is uh, a lace trim i was also showing these laces in one of my videos so that's a flip and another beautiful book page with birds here's some ledger paper green this is another flip 
made with uh, cardstock paper, pink cardstock paper. And this is feeling good. And this is a little tuck spot. So you, of course, you can add picture in here and glue it down. So this could be a background for your picture. And then journaling card. And this one is with sari silk and love flower. So there's green here, so these pages look really nice together. And this is some fabric. Coffee dyed paper again, flip. And this is dark uh, blue color to match this page here because this is dark blue. And then this color to match this. So that's another flip and you can read about it. This is just extra paper I added to the page to combine the pages. And plus there's also some color here that looks just like it. So like off-white and dark blue and white on this page. Popcorn bag with a guest check. And this is recipe card. Beautiful, love this page, this um, paper. So this is kind of cottagey looking page. And this here is couple, um, that's a tuck spot. That's another tuck spot. You can take this out, I'm not going to. This is um, fabric. And then here is um, shaker card that I made. It's with dark blue to match the colors on this side. And it's on both sides are those um, sequins. And then here on a ball pen is beaded beaded uh, charm and of course you can use it somewhere else in a journal I have it here to hold this um, shaker card in place so there are stars hearts a lot of different things and let me put this in here so that's this, and as you can see the, pa the uh, colors, a lot of purple, blue, and red to match this side. So that's, you can take it out. This is stitched around. This is uh, another tuck spot. This, um, another beautiful vintage page, another calendar page, and then here is another flip out. So it's uh, pretty much two tuck spots here. This is a Dollar Tree paper and fabric on top, but it's really one big packet if you wanted, if you had something larger than it would fit and this is brown just like this and um, this is lined paper so you can it, this is glued so you can journal on it so that's the whole thing here as you can see it's stitched so moving along this is a sleeve from photo album so it's pretty much space for two pictures so you can have a picture here and I have a postcard here for now. So that's a postcard and then uh, you have another, another one here. I didn't put anything in there but that's a spot for another picture here. And then this is a tuck spot. So you can maybe add description. And here's another 
vintage playing card. So I used a few playing cards for this journal. As I have a huge collection of uh, playing cards. So I think this is cool to have for uh, your pictures and stuff. Uh, cardstick paper. This is just some ephemera. This again is double tuck with um, lace on the side. So that's a tag. That's again this um, vintage looking ephemera that I got on Amazon that I was sharing with you in my uh, very recent video. And this is the chipboard that I also was showing you. That is from um, from Dollar Tree. I painted it with Inca gold in blue color, but it's it's very um, it's not very sturdy, so you just need to be careful with it. You could even glue it on a page. I think it would look really pretty if you glued it on a page. So that's a ladybug in here. Tim Holtz paper, birds, beautiful page. This is paper bag with a tax spot, vintage library card, index card, and cool, very cool paper tag. Uh, lined paper. This again is very cottagey with this plate here and orange I think it's either I think oranges maybe peaches but I think oranges and so because there's orange here so and green so this really worked together well here is another um, page book page lined paper again with a bird here and bird here and then this is a handmade tag with butterfly and flower in uh, in the middle an eyelash trim on top this is a piece of that paper that i was showing you earlier that handmade paper just a piece to add uh, on the side to the page and kind of balance the pages because it's brown here. So this is brown paper. I glued two pieces together and I made a packet. And that's a stamp here. And uh, fabric trim on top. And that's a journaling card inside. This is another flip out. It's stitched around and it has this fabric flip. That is another uh, pouch with cool tag inside. Really pretty paper too. It's kind of green like this page. Let me see if I'm in the middle. Here's an envelope. This is glued together and then some cool paper and gift check. Vintage recipes from, uh, from, a, recipes from a vintage book and this is another pouch that I made and I put some cool paper inside. just to pretty much show you that it's a pouch so we can put something inside beautiful paper here's this pink color mm, just like here very delicate really pretty page this green and green here and this is lined paper so quite a bit of pages as you can see and more space to journal. You can even remove some of the pages and use in a different journal if it's too much. This bird has some blue in it. 
really pretty and that's the last one so there's also a packet here and that's just extra ephemera and then here is a tax pad with beautiful double-sided paper and a bookmark a girl painting with uh, paint paint brushes and paint and it's also finished with the piece of chipboard here so it's sturdy so as you can see it's quite a book a lot of pages I really like ma uh, I like making these journals too so I hope you enjoyed it please like and share my videos it really helps out and uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon bye bye